Good day folks, Rania for Africa. Thank you very much for tuning in. So I've had quite a few requests from viewers uh, to explain or just to give them a run through as to how I built the aluminium canopy on the back of my vehicle. As promised, let me take you guys through how it was done. What up guys, welcome to my canopy. You guys, so this is a rather simple, simple build. Two frames. Was built initially, one at the bottom, one at the top. Top frame, left to right, 1.2 1, 1 meters. Bottom frame, left to right, 1540. Height from top to bottom 490, obviously excluding uh, including the, the 32 millimeters from the top box and the bottom frame. So you will obviously deduct 62 64 millimeters from this to be able to determine the length of this upright. Right, so the bottom frame, we said it's 1540 and from, from left to right, front to rear, 1565 and obviously the same for the top box, 1.2 meters by 1565. So basically I built the two square boxes and then stacked them on top of each other with the uprights, stacked them into place and like these birds all right um, and then obviously it allowed me to figure out these corners here what the angle should be obviously it was a bit of trial and error all the the main mainframe tubing 32 millimeters I used uh, a three millimeter wall thickness for the uprights obviously because they load carrying and um, two millimeter for the bottom and top frame basically just to save a little bit of weight uh, also welded in some some supports on the top I did two of them I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it there's the other one here's the other one let's see if we can get in there alright so that's basically what I did then onto the main frame I basically welded in um, flat bar obviously to be able to to support the rubber rubber seals I'm not sure you guys would be able to see this but in any way so yeah at the same angle as the as this well the same angle as following the same angle as this this upright all right so all along i'm not sure you were able to see a little bit better here so yeah i welded it at an angle and then the flat bar and uh, obviously sealed it along here and then just stuck the uh, rubber seal on top this is a normal automotive rubber you can buy it from any automotive rubber rubber supplier if I remember correctly, I bought these ones at Rubber Rights in Pretoria West, if you're in the area. Um, yeah, the gas struts, can't remember the length, but um, yeah, they were pumped up to about 200 newtons. I think it's 20 kgs each to support the doors, and it was a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a <laughs> trial and error situation with these. To figure out where they 
where they should be at. But yeah, I can just double check, check the length for you. All right, so the gas struts, this measures at around 41 centimeters, 410 millimeters. Like I said, uh, pressure was about 200 newtons or 20 kgs each to hold up this door. Distances from, let's quickly see if we can do this. Distances from the top door, let's measure it from here to center. What would that be? We're about 105 millimeters to center approximately and then for the lower one probably about Should you guys can see there, but it should be probably somewhere between like 105 as well. It seems like it. All right, used flat bar to basically just weld those into place and then bend it flat bar and welded it to the back of this pipe. Just when you when you do that, just make sure that um, you leave sufficient space for the canopy locks to clear. But I think you can get the idea here of one that's closed, just to see <coughs> how it was done. Here's the the flat bar that I welded into onto this bar, and obviously sealed it on the other side. Uh, for the doors, I used. Uh, 20 millimeter square tubing and um, yeah, that was also a bit of a trial and error situation just to make sure it, it clears the frame all around with the same same gaps everywhere after that basically cladded the whole thing with aluminium I cut it with a um, I cut the aluminium with, with a jigsaw that's got an aluminium blade fitted to it and then obviously um, sealed it with Sika Flex. I'm sure you can still see a little bit popping out somewhere around here. But um, yeah, sealed it all the way and then just riveted it to the uh, square tubing. So that's rather straightforward. Afterwards, I had to cut the holes for the locks. And then it basically gets, I'm not sure if you guys can see here, but yeah, basically just loosen this, this bolt here and um, yeah, basically pulls, the, pulls it from the inside, pulls the whole lock against the canopy, which also has got a rubber, a rubber seal seal fitted, uh, rubber seal fitted to it and that's basically that uh, hinges, stainless steel hinges find it in my most hardwares and uh, yeah, later just did the, the, the roof rack which is just a basic frame that I just welded together and bolted it to the top frame of the actual canopy and that obviously allowed me to fit quite a few other items onto the roof spade yeah. and that's basically a wrap for for the canopy yeah. 
uh, at the back with these ones. If I remember correctly, on the inside I also just welded in flat bar and uh, yeah, welded in flat bar and then just stuck stuck the cut the plate out to size and sealed it. So yeah, that is basically that's basically that. Front was quite rather simple. Uh, just cut the plate to size and uh, just bolted it straight to the front. No leaks. At the bottom, I used a, a, an automotive D. They call it a D rubber, um, and it basically just stuck it with um, some adhesive, some glue, to the bottom frame, and then tightened it with. It's called coach bolts, straight through underneath it with the bolts tightening up here, which was quite a bit of a mission, but anyway, they're holding up quite well. Uh, yeah, and then obviously just to seal it here, I just used uh, aluminium, uh, what do you call this? angle iron or aluminium angle and just secured it to the load bin with a with a seal or with a strip to that just to keep most of the dust out all right guys so yeah um, basically I just started off by building the frame unfortunately I didn't take any videos during the build but uh, managed to dig up some old photos um, so build the frame and then adjust and fit the doors accordingly. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you found it helpful and useful, maybe to build your own canopy. Uh, check out some of the videos up here and remember to subscribe up here.